I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. I cannot believe this is our fifth annual Halloween tree. Yes, this year's theme is Mischief Night. So it's all those tricks. And some treats. Yes, that you experience on Halloween night. Trick or treats, now my feet. In this video, you're going to get a closer look at our tree and a video tutorial on how to make each ornament we make. <laughs> We were first conceptualizing the theme of our tree. We thought trick or treat bags, and we had just gotten these trick or treat bags from eBay last year, but we didn't want to use them, so we photocopied them and then put them together. Yes, we just recreated them. We got the colored copy from Staples. So easy, so inexpensive. Um, and then we just put them together with some double sided tape and regular tape and cut it to look like the actual vintage bag. And they actually really look just the same. So it's a great way to like save them, but have them to be the yes, same. Yes, we should actually sell these. We actually should. <laughs> Yes. So cute. So we made a handful, uh, but Teddy thought they needed to be uh, more dingy. Yeah, more, we more, a little yes. aged, you know? So we just added a little water with some acrylic paint and just sloppily painted them. That's something we do all Halloween. Yes, to hang, we added a piece of floor wire in the back. Yep, and then we just added some paper just to bulk it up a bit, and then we just hot glued some candy to it. Yeah, these were candies that we got at the dollar store, or you know, kind of just whenever we would run errands. Yeah. And then each bag is individual and, and unique because either we put a razor in there or a little bug. <laughs> They're so cute. Now the apples, we were so excited to make these because, you know, back in our day. Yes, there was that urban legend that, you know, you would find like a razor blade in a candy Yes, or apple. even needles, you know? And I had that one neighbor that actually gave out uh, caramel apples. And did you eat them? No. Oh, good, good. Okay, so to get the caramel look, you want to mix Mod Podge with just some acrylic paint and mix it up really well. That'll just make it nice and thick and then drip it on top. Yeah, we wanted to go with the drizzle effect rather than the dip, you know, type yeah, of you, caramel apple. Yeah. We just thought it would be visually uh, more pleasing aesthetically. Definitely. And then we just added a uh, paper straw for the stick and we hot glued it in. Actually, it's really sturdy. I didn't think it was going to be so sturdy, but it's great. Yeah, some of the apples we ended up taking a bite out of, uh, you know, and just uh, adding some paint there to make it it look rotten, uh, but they look so cute. We added the wire on the back to hang just like the other ones. Yes, now for the razor blades, we used silver paper, which looks really great. We just cut it to size and then used a hole punch and then just cut ridges. And I just Googled what a razor like this would look like. And then it actually looked really great. Just like our trick or treat bags, no apple is the same. They're all uniquely individual and their own. And when we're thinking of ornaments, we're trying to think of things that have different shapes. So these are really unique themselves. Ooh, take a bite. What a fright. Yeah. When we're making ornaments, we're also thinking about ways we can make our lives easier. We have tons of shaving cream cans that are empty, so we thought, why not repurpose them and dress them into these Halloween-style shaving cream yes, cans? Yes, we cut out a label using our Cricut just out of some cardstock and paper there, and then uh, wrap them around our shaving cream cans. There, this was quite controversial because we posted this a while ago on our social media channels, and everybody said that we should have called it Shaving Scream. Yes, yes, I thought that was cute, but it's not what we wanted to do. Yes, we wanted it to be an actual shaving cream can. Yeah, and actually uh, we added some vellum paper just because it, it looked a little too matte. It didn't look real and that just gives it a nice shine. Uh, but Teddy actually thought they looked too clean. So then we just added some acrylic paint to dingy them up. Yes, Teddy is the supervisor. What he wants goes. <laughs> yes. Now our smashed pumpkins. These were so fun to make and really are great for our tree, but can be used in any of your decor. Yeah, and the first thing you want to do is take a styrofoam pumpkin, cut it, and then remove all the styrofoam. Uh, one of those hollow pumpkins won't work for this project. Yeah, it needs well. to be a styrofoam pumpkin. We yes. use our drill to drill it out. Of course, safety first. You want to make sure you're not going to drill off your hand or your fingers. Yeah, you could use Even though that would look this. good on the tree too. Yeah, that would be great <laughs> for Halloween. Uh, save this if you want. We think we're going to use it for snow in December, but then we we just cut out a face. We used our rotary tool, but you could use a knife. We kind of went back and forth with it. 
Yes, use what you got and make it your own. We always say that, you know? Yes, and then what you wanna do is carve out some extra cracks. This is really gonna help give it that smashed look. So carve all those cracks, but you wanna keep the face intact because if you don't, the pumpkin isn't gonna read as a jack-o'-lantern. Yes, and then we use our heat gun to actually melt down the pumpkin. It will kind of morph and take a shape of its own, but it really helps kind of keep each pumpkin organic and kind of just... It, it makes it look more real. What it does, like, it kind of gives it this rotten look. It's a very cool tip um, and it's it's actually really fun to do, but you do want to do it outside because it really is. Yes, stingy. it does get fumy. And of course, again, wear gloves, always safety always, first, yeah. especially around Halloween. Yeah, but have fun with it. It's a little time consuming, but it's really, it's really cool. Yes, yeah, so and we use our glue gun to just reconstruct the pumpkin because we do want it to read as a pumpkin. Yes. After all, did you ever have a smashed pumpkin? You know, I got my pumpkin smashed a couple of times. So it was always like Halloween night, like after I'd gone to bed, but I would always oh. wake up really sad. What I mean, I, I never had a smashed pumpkin, but wow. at least yours was after Halloween, yeah, that's not very before, because yes. that would be double sad. Totally. And, and then we just painted the inside. Now we use our airbrush for this because we had it and it was actually really quick and easy, but you could totally use acrylic paint for this. Our goal was just to make it look as realistic as possible. And if you don't have an airbrush, a good tip is to maybe do the inside of the pumpkin before you glue it together. It just might be easier to get the brush in all those, you know, all those spots. Yes. Yeah, sometimes when we're creating, we think of these things after, after the fact yes. and we're like, oh, well, but we'll tell others that yeah. when they do it, do it that way. Totally. And then we just added some detail like around the carved areas just so it looked really real. We also used some glossy clear paint to give it that pumpkin shine. Yes, and to hang it, we just used some floral wire and some felt and some hot glue, just glued it right to the back and really just wrapped it around those branches. everything together, we uh, added some stars and moons that we cut out with our cricket. And we also added some skeleton hands, which you've probably seen in other Halloween trees that we've made. Yeah, so you could go check out those videos now. We have them on our YouTube channel. Also, give this one a like, leave us a comment, subscribe if you're new around here. Yes. And we hope you creep it real this Halloween season and have a happy and safe one. Don't get pee-peed. What? <laughs> <laughs> pee <laughs> Bye. Bye. October is here to give us all a scare The crafty lumberjacks have all the ghoulish hacks You truly want to know where your skeleton should go For Dennis and Andrew, they'll tell you what to do Just light your candelabra in the dark so you can see All the spooky jack-o'-lanterns and a bone-chilling tree your choices are becoming terrifyingly clear For hair-raising, spine-tickling crafts this year Happy Halloween from the Crafty Lumberjack! <laughs>